Why don't you want to play Between like 1953 that? and 1955, yeah, Alfred Hitchcock directed three films in a row with a young blonde actress from Philadelphia yeah, named Grace show. Kelly. And these three pictures put her among the great stars of the 50s. One of the three is among Hitchcock's best. All are very entertaining suspense films. And with John Ford's Magambo, they are unquestionably the best pictures Grace Kelly did in her short career. In 1954, three movies starring Grace Kelly were released, two by Hitchcock and one based on Clifford Odets's Broadway drama, The Country Girl, which was the weakest, least popular of the three, and the one for which the Academy voted Kelly the Oscar as Best Actress, perhaps because it was the only film in which Kelly didn't look glamorous or especially beautiful. Beauty, glamour, and suspense generally not thought to be serious enough for Academy approval. In this case, I'd say the public was right. They preferred Kelly as she was, beautiful and glamorous. I recovered the in May 1954, Kelly opened in Hitchcock's version of the successful stage mystery by Frederick Knott, Dial M for Murder, with Ray Milan married to Kelly and planning her murder, jealous because of Robert Cummings, Kelly's sometime lover. When the hired murderer gets killed instead, John Williams is the Scotland Yard investigator who helps to solve everything. Almost all of Dial M played in one apartment, and so did Hitchcock's Next with Kelly, released in September 54, and again she was the sophisticated lady whom the leading man wanted to get rid of, Rear Window, starring James Stewart, among Hitchcock's most effective and important pictures. I can't fit in he here, you can't fit in there. I mean, according to you, people should be born, live and die on the same spot. Shut up! Did you ever eat fish heads and rice? Of course not. Well, if you, you might have to if you went with me. Why Stewart would turn Kelly down is, of course, part of the hidden mystery in Rear Window. Stewart is certainly more interested in the murder he suspects has happened in an apartment across the way. In fact, it's only when he gets Kelly deeply involved in this, her life in danger, that he really falls in love with her at all. What was his reaction? I mean, when he looked at the note. Well, it wasn't the kind of an expression that would get him a quick look. Throughout Hitchcock's career, first in England, then in America, he had a penchant for casting his lead women as cool blondes, and certainly Grace Kelly not only epitomized these, but was also the most enduring and alluring personification of his vision. Here's her entrance from Rear Window. The following September, 1955, saw the release of the third and final Hitchcock Kelly thriller, a strangely fateful picture in many ways, co-starring Cary Grant and the French Riviera to catch a thief. Grant is a retired jewel thief known as the Cat, suspected of some recent copycat crimes. To prove himself innocent, he must catch the real thief. Kelly plays an American heiress with jewels and sex to offer, and it turns out she would really prefer he was still a thief than not. Hold this necklace in your hand and tell me you're not John Roby the cat. Hitchcock used to say that he felt sex on the screen should be suspenseful. To him, English women were the best. They look like nothing, he said to me once. Outwardly cold as ice, but boy, underneath. Kelly was like the English woman in that film, and this was epitomized, he said, by the kiss in the corridor. Two fateful echoes will forever haunt To Catch a Thief. It was during the filming near Monaco that Grace Kelly met and fell in love with Prince Rainier and because of him left pictures forever two years later. And it was on the same winding road she drove with Cary Grant that Grace Kelly was killed 27 years after in 1982. Ironic, too, that the Prince tried to keep the finished film from circulation in its day, too sexy maybe, and that it remains perhaps Grace Kelly's most personable performance. You want a leg or a breast? You make the choice. Enjoying yourself, Mr. Burns? Oh, it's very nice out here. You know, the salad and all. Well, it's too much for me. I'll see you at the hotel. I'll go with you. You know as well as I do, this necklace is imitation. Well, I'm not. 